Hi guys, welcome to the video where we talk about the new things. So, in the release schedule timing, the first of every month we release three ISOs, and one week in advance we release those ISOs to AAG where you can download them. So, that's testing public wide, and a week before that, it's uh, testing for the core members and the beta testers of Arconix. So the ISOs get tested two weeks before release of every month, 09, 0109 or 0110, 11, 12. The only release we don't, we, we, the only time we don't release is in August. So July and August are important uh, months because that's when we step away from our computer for a while and have a holiday, right? So August, no release, but all the rest of the months is a release of ISOs means you don't have to download as much as kernels and every kernel is different and the kernels are coming from Arch Linux, so we have no say in what they do, they change, right? Let's say six Linux kernels every month, right? So not only kernels, but all packages, of course, will change from release to release. So that means different, right? Different responses, different possibilities, try an older ISO, see if that works for you. Uh, it's possible that things change for the better, but also for the worse. Every release, we make a article. And in this release article, we make two things, how to stay rolling and an overview of what is new. So this is the old video, what is new in Arctic 2407. This video will replace this one with 2409. As you know, via my, my text that I just told you, right? We had a holiday, right? In the holiday, we don't do much things, but we did do some work. We've made a video, how often should you update? That's really a fact, right? A frequent asked question. Well, doesn't really matter. Well, will the system break if you do not update daily? No, weekly, no, right? It's entirely up to you, the frequency of updating and this this is the command to update the Arch Linux and the Arch Linux packages and Paru or Apple is the command to also update the AOR packages. So stuff that you've installed, you've chosen, we did we did not put that on the ISO. And if you're seeing issues with keys, I just made a video which is number 4235 updating Arch Linux 2407 to 2409, so a jump of two months, 1.5 gigabytes of download, 300 megabytes of, of extra space that you require. And in that video, we had to do that. We had to install Arch Linux Keyring, the new guy, jump from, I think, June to July. And there is an alternative, and the fixed key is really a clean slate, making sure Pacman starts from scratch again and everything is, is installed again. So two things that are important. But no, it's not important. I've made videos um, where I update an SSD that was lying in my closet for four years, put it in and with knowledge, that's of course something that's a given, right? Common sense knowledge that you get from Arctic Lakes, you can still update. So that's one thing. We're using the latest code of Calamars. So the Calamars project is here and we always use the latest one. This is two weeks ago. But what we do is actually go to the latest commit and grab it from there. So um, this is two weeks ago still between August 13 and 25, right? Nothing happened. So we follow Calamars, the free Linux installer. And what's not included, but what we've done as well in July, I see, I have not made it available. I should probably write that extra. Every time there is a holiday, I choose a personal project. So July, beginning of July is for me a personal project time. I choose something I'd like to do, right, to learn. And the playlist is probably created. Let's have a look and see if we can find it. We have the Arconet DWM development, a few full playlists. Let's see if that's the one. 
one month ago, one month ago, one month ago, right? So I used the two weeks of July, my holiday project, learning about basically C. DWM is written in C and I can only suggest, and if you don't do it, that's fine, but I dropped code of DWM in chat GPT and asked them to explain it to me. And for the rest, of course, it's always the same thing, trial and error, right? Change things and see what happens, build it again and try and try and try, right? But one of the things that I did was, well, figure out how things work in DWM. And as you see, the numbering is, um, here's a jump, of course, but this was my July project where I learned about DWM, but not only DWM, also patching here and the flexi patch. That's the one I was looking for from Backaby. So Backaby created Dusk, a variant of DWM. And he also created the flexi patch. And with flexi patch, we can easily incorporate the patches inside DWM. So this was the project I had and I'll add it to the list here to the what's new. This is the playlist. And if you're interested, right, it, it's, it's daunting. Let's call it like that. This one shouldn't be in here, that's for sure. Um, oh yeah, that's why. So building personal DWM Flexi. So I show you something about DWM and that's why it's in here. So I try to give you the message every single time. Think out of the box, right? Uh, whatever I teach can be applied anywhere. So Crystal Linux is one of the Arch Linux ISOs or variations or distros or whatever you want to call it. And I play around on it with ATT, adding chat WM and building personal DWM. So, I mean, anything, also our tools, right? The tools that we develop can be used as long as you are on a system that is based on Arch, Arch Linux. So that's uh, something we've done as well. But that's just fun, a personal fun time for me. And here's a video debunking, right? So beginning, let's say, the end last week of July or something, we went in holiday and then three weeks later we came back, we updated the computer. So debunking, people say that art oh, breaks all the time. If you don't update it daily, it's so rubbish, right? So another video to debunk this thing. And that's cool. I've included the Calamars did not install my package Y workflow video because there was always, always a reason. Calamars is just a tool. What's behind it is Pac-Man. Pac-Man is, well, rules your system. It's the package manager. And once it, there are conflicts or can't get to the source or there's key problems or anything like that, right? That's the reason why things crash in Calamars. It's not Calamars as such. Often it's not, right? And here we have the video how to stay rolling. So that's been created already, a jump from here to here. So what is new has been has been partially probably explained in that video, but I'll show it again in this one, more in detail maybe. When you update the system, before updating, I do a backup scale, and after updating, I do a backup scale. What does that mean? It means it's gonna make a copy of whatever is inside etc scale. And that's of course not the only place we put data, but this is the information that the home directory needs, that the user needs. So this thing and the home directory should, well, should recognize, you'll be able to recognize these things. So zsh is here, zsh is here, dot config is here, dot config is here, bin is here, bin is here, right? Now I've made another update and that's the package bin. And bin is just a file, well, a folder and a file and all, well, fun stuff actually. Never say too much about it, but DNA, voila, you feel like this kind of thing, rally. So these are the words, little scripts that are in here, fun things. There's also serious stuff in here, so main, fixes in here and the kernels and there's the keys and nemesis repo 
Samba, swap file, right? There are a lot of things in here. But what we've done, we've updated the package because we want to stay rolling and we want to follow the ISO. Now we have not done anything to the ISO. So basically I've just created the folder saying nothing to do with a file called nothing to do. And if you open it, there is nothing to do, right? There's no text in there. So basically nothing to do as such to install and remove, but there might be something you'd like to do. And that's the following in the video number. Let's read it again. Four, two, three, five, four, two, three, five, right? In that updating video, we've updated the system. This is the scale. I've typed this before the update. And I've typed that again after the update. So backup scale, and we get two scales. Let's go in detail what changed only to the ETC scale, of course. Make sure the file filter is off. Make sure melt is installed. What is melt? Sudo pacman minus s melt. Make sure that one is installed. Then you can do exactly the same as I have here. So then the file filter same you don't want to see the same that's this that's a lot of stuff that's the same so fine what changed ah this one nothing to do and then we have excels here and um well something for thunor as you can see where it is thunor and again something for thunor instead of calling its unique id blah 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 we call it just open terminal, which is what it is. Right mouse click, open terminal. So, Thunar, right mouse click, open terminal. That's it. And then um, what else? Fish. CLS has been created. CLS is exactly this, the copy of this one. At some point in time, I made a video and I remember typing CLS. And CLS is a command from the past that we grew up with and it and didn't work. I said, oh, strange. Uh, yeah, it was clear or clean or not CLS. So you know, CLS doesn't exist in Linux, but we used to have it at some point in time in the past. So now I have it again, right? So if I accidentally type it, I get the same thing as clean. So this is fish, the same as CB here. So bash RC, I mean, voila, CLS, and the same goes for ZSH. So we have three shells that we support and uh, you can play around with them. Here we have setting for XFC4 terminal, added them, all the properties that everything has, true or false, boolean, right? Strings, that's a string, okay. And then we have here, keyboard shortcuts. We've looked at the keyboard shortcuts. There were old stuff in here. We're leaving UXVT and going for Alacrity. Atom was old, doesn't exist anymore. Um, so stuff, some cleaning up in our key bindings, basically, because key bindings matter. If I do control F, I am on chat WM and chat WM. This is chat WM. It is all about key bindings, right? Control Alt T, Super Shift Enter, Super Q, Super Shift Q. It, it's important to start learning key bindings in the desktops. And then later on, you can move to the tiling window manager because you know them already. You've used them already, right? Now, of course, this is, might not be a good way to read these things. Uh, here's the keyboard. Here's the layout, no, application shortcut. Here are, well, it's a graphical uh, interface, a graphical uh, window to show you, ah yeah, Super F3 is gonna launch GIMP. Super F3 is gonna launch Inkscape if you have installed it, right? Otherwise you don't get anything and in Tiling Window Manager you get an error. So it's, um, it's knowledge that you need to have. So here are the, the keyboard shortcuts, so it's important, learn them. And here is a desktop that I've added. So depending on the name, that's, well, depending on the hardware, desktops give it the name, and then we can set 
the wallpaper in this case the Arco Linux wallpaper so if you have DP1 it's now gonna show NDP0 it's now gonna show a nice wallpaper rather than the XFC4 bluish mousy thing from XFC at some point in time we've created our own DWM called Flexi and Flexi can now also we are in set wallpaper Arco in variety that means that via variety we can set the wallpaper in DWM our name Flexi so we've just added the possibility to change the wallpaper that's it okay but it all matters right we want to have a beautiful system and the rest we've already told so there you go that's what we've changed during um, July and August so what I did do in previous video was a scale scale is copy pasting everything from each scale in here and making a copy so I do it once more if you're still not sure what you what all this is about here's the article so that's the link click on it and you go to the internet and you read about scale it will be a blessing if your system crashes right because if you're an entirely winner manager and you made a comma or a space or a tab wrong it crashes you end up in a black screen if you type scale we have the code the correct code again you get the code from Arclix again so it works right so that's an important bit but it can you can go smaller by CB for example you're on bash copy bash and copy bash is basically so alias CB is basically say copy me the etc scale bash RC to my own bash RC and execute bash so CLS works that's the result the end result of CB when I'm on ZSH I do copy Z it's not loaded because I'm not on ZSH but this one contains now CLS and that's how it all works so learn your aliases if that's new for you um, I wanted to control find CLS for example well there he is and that's how everything works and that's also the end of the video I think um, everything is explained yep okay did not forget anything so have fun a little bit with bin as well gonna end with uh, one last thing which one will I take I do like the bonsai tree it's incredible programming of these guys bonsai tree All right and you say how do they create these things right again another tree random tree each time a little bit different <laughs> so voila have fun with all these little commands that are up here but have a look around and stay rolling this this is the amount of time we've done this we're now seven years old so yep seven falls seems right so there we go have fun with Arclex. Cheers.